what is up everybody happy monday I just got to work i go inside do everything i gotta do remember i switched my schedule this week again to do a monday wednesday friday fast so that way on saturday for our float trip i'll be able to eat without feeling bad about it my second toes on both my feet are a little bit sore from the hike we did yesterday um some information about my feet. My big toe kind of curls up and then my second toe is a little bit longer than my big toe because of that. Weird information. But every time I would like accidentally kick a rock or for example, towards the end of the trip we were getting really tired so I wasn't lifting my feet as much, I would kick um, rocks or trip or whatever. And it was taking like all of the force from those kicks and they're, they're both pretty sore, I'm not gonna lie. The bruising on my one foot, that I also got from the very beginning of the hike whenever we were just stretching and I kicked a rock it is a little bit sore but it's not as bruised as I thought it was going to be um definitely red definitely a deep bruise but um we'll see how I feel tonight whenever I get off if I don't run tonight I'm going to run tomorrow along with my other exercise so that way I can get in my three days of the C25K this week as well I'll probably come in early on Friday and get that one done here at work, but we'll see what happens when that time comes because obviously that's at the end of the week. Um, like I said though, today's a fasting day, so coffee, water, all that good stuff. Go inside, get through today, and get through this week to get to the float trip and have an amazing weekend that I'm really excited about. Mentally, I feel okay today. I was, of course, extremely exhausted whenever my alarm clock went off, but after I got up and kind of washed my face and stuff, I feel a little bit better. Um, Physically, my body besides my feet, and I don't really know about the muscles of my legs or anything yet. I haven't moved around enough yet. Um, I feel okay. Definitely bloated today, but it could be with the amount of water that I drink um, and, you know, eating two days in a row. My body's not used to that whenever I eat two days in a row, so that's something I have to put into consideration. I know the bloat will go down. I'll be fine. It's just bloat. It's not weight or anything like that and I drank so much water last night before we went to bed because I was so thirsty after the hike but anywho I'm gonna get off here so I can go inside and I will talk to you guys later on this afternoon guys I am hungry and I do not like it because I'm trying to freaking fast today but uh, I really want food but I'm not gonna eat I can't let myself eat because I'm trying to fast Monday Wednesday Friday like what I said and I don't want to break that I don't want to have any more bad weeks where I'm breaking my fast or whatever. And uh, I feel like today I might struggle a little bit more with that. I'm almost home though where I'm gonna run tonight. Maybe after I exercise, get out and stuff like that, I will feel better. It's only 86 degrees right now. The humidity isn't crazy high like it normally is. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and actually run outside again. Start week three, day one, outside running um, and get that done and out of the way. So it's a little cloudy and that way it's different sights than just like my base. I can't remember exactly how long I run for on week three, um, but it shouldn't be too much of an issue. I mean, the funny thing is, on Snapchat yesterday, actually, one of the memories that popped up was that I was able to run 20 minutes straight yesterday, a year ago. So, I know I can get there again. It's just going to take a little bit of time. I could probably do it if I really pushed myself, but I also don't want to die. <laughs> I haven't eaten anything today except for a couple small pieces of the crab salad that I have at work in my lunchbox because I wanted to make sure it would be okay for me to eat for lunch tomorrow. I, did, I wanted to make sure it wasn't bad and it's fine. So I already know what I'll do for lunch tomorrow now, but I just uh, had to have some to make sure that it wasn't bad. I haven't really decided what I'm going to do for breakfast or anything like that yet. I have no idea what we're going to do for dinner, so I'm going to have to figure that out as well. But that'll all happen in due time. I'm gonna get off here though because I am almost home. I'll go and change, run, and all that good stuff and then see what happens the rest of the evening. I will talk to you guys later on tonight. Let y'all know what I decided to do. Totally hitting the sack early tonight. It's like 9.03 or something and I'm so glad that I'm going to bed now because I'm so tired, especially after this morning. I did not want to get out of bed. And I got out of bed and I thought I'd be okay and then just as the day went on, I got more and more tired. <laughs> So I'm pretty exhausted and I'm so ready to crash, basically. I made it through the day as much as a struggle as it was. I really wanted to eat, I really wanted a break. But I held out and I kept to it. I did have a cup of coffee um, and I tried a couple blueberries to make sure that they were still good um, for my lunch tomorrow. 
or a snack or whatever I decide to do with it. But like I said, um, made it. I made it through. So yay, yay for me. Um, tomorrow for breakfast I'm doing oatmeal. Uh, lunch I'm gonna do leftover crab salad. And then dinner I'm gonna kind of experiment with something. Um, I've made a recipe similar to this before, but it's usually with a ranch seasoning packet. And this time I'm using this white cheddar jalapeno dip mix instead. See how that turns out and hopefully it turns out okay. It reminds me. I gotta go pull the chicken out of my fridge. So I'll do that when I'm done here. I'm gonna go ahead and get off here so I can go to bed though. Cause like I said, I'm tired. But I made it through the day. It was a struggle. Hopefully I make it till 10 tomorrow. That's all I gotta say about that. Good morning everybody. Happy Tuesday. It's a neat day. I'm so glad. I really hope I can make it till 10. I actually stopped and got a coffee at Dunkin' on the way in hoping that hopefully that'll help me tidy over until then. Uh, because I've been so hungry. When I woke up this morning, it was awful, but now as I'm standing here and thinking about it, it's definitely worse than it was. Um, today for breakfast, I brought oatmeal with some cheese seeds added in, a little bit of cinnamon, and I'm gonna add a banana to it. So kind of like a banana bread oatmeal, maybe just banana oatmeal, I don't know. And then um, I have an apple here as well that I'll probably snack on at some time today. For lunch, I have leftover simple crab salad and some veggies left from last week that's still good. So I didn't have to really bring in a big lunch except for a bun. And then I also brought like a container full of grape strawberries and blueberries for some fruit today. I have some barbecue flavored pork rinds in my drawer. I'm addicted to pork rinds. I don't know why. I think they're just something crunchy that's not super high in calorie. And I like having that crunch, so it's like a chip, but not really. Then for dinner this night, I started this chicken in the slow cooker with some white cheddar jalapeno mix and um, cream chicken and water. No idea how that's gonna turn out, so I'm just gonna have to guess. One of my coworkers actually brought in some squashes, some zucchini and yellow squash. I don't think I'm gonna cook those tonight though. I might wait and cook those on Thursday night with something. And um, other than that, we'll probably have some kind of couscous mixed veggies thing that I have in my freezer at home. And um, we have some spinach and stuff we need to eat for like a salad. So my meal should be really good today and I'm super excited about it. Um, after adding everything in, an guesstimate, I have like 200 and something calories left without adding any moderate exercise TDE, any heavy exercise TDE. So if I wanted to eat more than I can, we'll just kind of see how today goes. I really hope I can keep from snacking because the past couple of times that I've worked out, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I have wanted to snack like crazy, um, but the whole reason about me doing this Monday, Wednesday, Friday fasting this week is so that I can eat on the float trip and not feel guilty about it. So we'll kind of see how today goes, um, but I just wanted to update you guys and let you know what all I'm eating and stuff. So I'm going to get off here so I can go warm my coffee back up. I know it's already cold. Fill up my water bottle and get to it. So I will talk to you guys later on this afternoon. I totally realized that I did not vlog when I got home. Hey, Bowser. Really, every time I go to talk to them, you're in the way. Yeah, them. Like I was saying though, I uh, didn't vlog when I got home, but I came inside and kind of went downstairs directly to work out. And I did a really heavy leg exercise today, meaning I did a lot of legs. And I'm really tired. We had dinner. Um, it turned out pretty good. Uh, I kind of wished it had a little bit more flavor. It was kind of spicy. Basically what it was was a white cheddar jalapeno dip mix that I had in my cabinet. Chicken, cream of chicken, and water cooked in a crock pot all day. And I put it over the top of a bed of cauliflower rice. And then we had this couscous uh, vegetable blend that I got from Aldi that was actually pretty good as well. I think according to my calorie counter, I'm 73 calories under, but I never added in the coffee that I had this morning. So I'm probably sitting right at my TDEE. Not that it particularly matters because tomorrow I'll be running again per usual. I've been running this week. I feel like I've been doing pretty good recently, so it's nice. For breakfast, I had a big old bowl of oatmeal with a banana and it was so filling and it was amazing. I didn't eat again until like 11.45ish and I had the vegetables that I originally planned to have with my lunch. Um, but then I had lunch around 12.30. I had my simple crab salad and the bowl of fruit that I brought. And then... Um, for my afternoon snack, I had the barbecue pork rinds that I had in my drawer and um, an apple. And came home, 
accidentally dug into the almond butter and mixed nuts and um, then worked out and had dinner. And then I made like this vanilla protein shake with a banana as well because we had one that was going to go bad so I just went ahead and used it as well. It was pretty good, pretty tasty, and I'm full. I'm definitely a little bit bloated but I'm not too angry about it. I have to keep in mind that just because I'm bloated doesn't mean that I've gained back weight. It just means that I'm bloated for what I've eaten. I particularly get bloated right after I eat um, more than anything, of course, just because my belly's full and I need to keep that in mind and realize that it's not that. That's why I struggle more than anything I was telling you earlier is with bloat, so. Anywho. It's like 8.30 almost, so um, I'm just going to chill the rest of the night. Not really going to have too much else to report. Tomorrow's another fasting day, another C25K day, and um, we'll get through it. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow morning. What's up, guys? Here I am at work at 6 o'clock, bright and early per usual. <sighs> when this busy season's over, I won't have to get here as early, but the traffic will be terrible. And that's one reason why I like to get here so early. This just means I'll have to take longer breaks. But, anywho. Today's a fasting day. I have my coffee, I have my water. I gotta go fill up that, of course. I did just get here, obviously. So, uh, no idea what it looks like inside, what work I have to do. Yesterday we were pretty busy, so hopefully today will go by pretty quickly. It is Wednesday after all, so we're halfway through the week, which is awesome. Only two more days until the weekend. I'm getting off work early on Friday because of the float trip. So there are good things about it being, you know, today. I woke up this morning expecting to be a lot more bloated than I was. I don't think I feel very bloated at all, actually. Actually, the pair of pants I have on feel a little loose around the waist, of course, always. <laughs> um, today, I have to run. I thought about going to my mom's after work because I got a package from Amazon sent to her, but I think I'm going to wait and do that tomorrow. Maybe I'll come in to work early tomorrow and work out so that way I can just go there directly after work and not have to worry about getting home and working out and all that good stuff but we'll kind of see how I feel around that time um I'll think about it anyway I'm gonna let you guys go so I can go inside and start this day I have a little bit of hunger right now but I typically always do it this time in the morning it's kind of like after my body wakes up it's trying to make me think that I need food when I know I don't since I ate so much yesterday or ate it all yesterday I don't need to eat today um, but coffee always helps, which is why I drink so much of it, because it's an appetite suppressant. So, anywho, I'm gonna get off here. I'll talk to you guys later on this afternoon. I think I'm gonna have to break my fast early, because I have been hungry all day. No amount of coffee or water has been able to curb my appetite, so I think I need to listen to the signs of my body and eat something, which is very upsetting to me because I was wanting to be able to fast the entire day, of course. I felt so slim today, but as I'm sitting here driving, I'm thinking to myself, you aren't eating because of the way your body looks right now. And that's an unhealthy sign in itself. If you're hungry, you need to eat. So I'm more than likely going to eat dinner. And I can't beat myself up over it as much as I want to because that's not fair to my mental health. And it's really hard for me to grasp at this moment um, because I don't want to eat. Like I said, I, I cannot shake this hunger. So I know it's actual hunger. It's not just a desire for food, if that makes sense. I don't know what I'm gonna eat tonight or when. So wanting to work out. My glasses are squeezing my head too tightly, so I can't wait to take them off and put my contacts in um, so that I can maybe think straight. But it's just not been a good day mentally for me, and it won't be a good fasting day. However, I have fasted for over 18 hours, so that's good that I was able to fast at least for a little bit. But I know if I want to run, I'm going to have to eat something or else I might not be able to make it through the entire run. So we'll kind of see what happens when I get back to the house. I'm just really upset right now because I, I can't do it. And I'm 
so hard on myself. I've been so hard on myself this week. And I've been so good the past couple of weeks fasting and it's just really upsetting. I hate it. I just really hate it. Well, I ate. Ate more than I wanted to. Um, but I didn't go over my calorie count, so that's good. I ended up making a uh, buffalo chicken flatbread type pizza thing, kind of like what I did the other night. It only came to 382 calories for the two, which is good, but I've eaten other things as well. Um, I came home and I had some mixed nuts and I had some grapes and just some other things so that way I could get through my run, which I did. And, um, and then I uh, showered and I've been kind of snacking around all night, to be honest, but I think I'm finally at the point where I don't feel like I need to eat anything else right now, so that's good. Probably gonna be bloated tomorrow, which makes me so mad, but I had to listen to the signs of my body and eat. I've been killing myself the past couple of weeks trying to be the best I can be, and I needed to rest and just take a day and not, not fast the complete day. Doesn't mean I'm a failure. Doesn't mean I'm any less amazing, I guess you guys could say, or whatever, than I was before. I just needed to eat. And there's that. So I did. Um, it's about 8 o'clock now, so I'll be going to bed soon. Um, I'm getting up early tomorrow to work out at work. I'm going to my mom's after work tomorrow. Originally, I wanted to get a shrimp po' boy. But I don't know if I'm going to do that or not anymore, just because I ate today and I didn't want to eat today and that's just more calories, but it shouldn't matter. It doesn't matter. I can eat what I want and it's so hard for me to comprehend and deal with that. Anywho, I guess with all that being said, I've done really well the past couple of weeks and I can't be too mad at myself about it. Tomorrow's a new day. It's an eat day. Um, I'm bringing some food in and stuff. We'll see how long I can fast till tomorrow. Maybe I'll be able to go longer in the day and I won't need to eat anyway and that'd be kind of nice. But like I said, I'll probably feel gross and bloated, which I hate. Bloat is the absolute worst thing to me. I hate it. Sorry guys, if I let you down, not that it, not that it should matter. I'm not letting anybody down. I have to keep that in mind. I'm doing this for me. I'm not doing this for anybody else. But it's still there in the back of my mind. Of course. I'm a people pleaser. <laughs> but with all that being said, I'm going to end it on this note, which I know kind of sucks. But I have to remind myself, everything's okay. Nothing has changed. I needed to eat. My body needed it. And I've been so hard on myself. So I should be able to be okay with this. Thank you so much guys for stopping by and watching this week's vlog. I really appreciate it and I'll catch you guys on the next one.